I wanted to ask you about IoT standards. Uh, and this is actually a topic that we haven't really gone into. There's a few that have caught my eye that I think uh, are relevant, and I know that you've been covering them. And I wanted to start off with Sidewalk. And uh, can, for our listeners, can you explain a little bit about what Sidewalk is to start off with? Sure. So Sidewalk is Amazon's answer to creating a low-power wide area network. And I'm sure your audience is very familiar with this concept, but just overview, we need a cheap, easy way to connect devices to the internet. And low power WANs are really an interesting option there. So Sidewalk is an option. There are other proprietary options like Sigfox. Um, oh, my goodness. Laura? Okay. Well, okay, so Laura's mm -hmm. a little weird. So there's Laura WAN, and there's lots of options there, like uh, Senate, Helium, and those all... They're less proprietary, we'll call it. Like mm -hmm. LoRaWAN is a standard that people are applying to devices and networks, and that's good. Um, there's also Laura, which is the 900 megahertz radio that LoRaWAN is based off of. So Sidewalk actually can run over a Laura network. And if you, you know, the, Mac, the OSI stack, so you've got, you know, your different network layers. Sidewalk is like an app... I don't think it's actually an application level layer, but it's it's one up there. And mm -hmm. what it is, is it's a protocol that can run over LoRa. It can actually also run over Bluetooth. And it's Amazon's way of hiding data packets so you can't understand where the, what's in the data packet and where it's come from. And they put all of that on whatever radio they choose. And voila, they have an Amazon-powered low-power WAN. Mm -hmm. The brilliance of what Amazon has done here is people hate this, but they put it in Echo devices and then they turned it on because and suddenly they've got a large coverage area because you know tens of millions of people have bought Echo devices. People hated it. They felt like it was invading their privacy. It's not. But it, the biggest issue with any low power wide area network is that it costs money to build a network. That's with any network, right? It costs mm -hmm. so much money. And then you've got to make up, you know, you've got to charge people equivalent amounts of money for maintaining that infrastructure. And there's just no way for the IoT when we want to like talk to a smoke detector for like two cents, right? No. Right. Okay. So that's Sidewalk in a nutshell. Wonderful. And I think uh, these standards are a little bit like soap operas. They kind of uh, appear. They, 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 there are people fighting against them. There are people fighting for them. So there's, you have the conflict aspect. And then there's the uncertainty. Uh, you know, are they going to get killed off after the first season? Or are, they, are we into a long run here? So um, what do you think the future of Sidewalk is? Do you think this is one of these things that is actually going to stick with us? Or is this one of these IoT standards that's going to kind of disappear. Will it be silently. a WiMAX? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is hard. Had you asked me six months ago when Amazon was kind of launching it, I would have said, mm. oh yeah, this is going to be everywhere because it's Amazon. Yes. And their pricing for sidewalk data is really interesting. You know, they're, they've already got the coverage. But so far, Amazon, the launch went very badly. People try, people huge kerfuffle. Many people opted out. How many? I don't know. I've asked mm -hmm. Amazon. Uh, they won't tell you. <laughs> In case you're wondering, they won't tell me. Maybe they'll tell you. I've asked people who are building for Amazon Sidewalk. Most of them are not choosing Sidewalk. It's too uncertain for them. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like there's a lot more uncertainty. And in the meantime, like Helium has expanded their LoRaWAN network. They did the deal with Senate and Actility to have those devices work on their network. And so now I feel like that's kind of a viable option. I should also say, I run a Helium miner, which means that I make Helium tokens when mm -hmm. people get excited about Helium. But I'm not, I'm not saying this because I make money. I'm saying mm -hmm. this because I really genuinely think it's a really, they're doing well. So- well, one of the folks in our office is doing the same thing, and he's become a great evangelist. I think it's a really interesting, fascinating concept to uh, to tie it's a in really uh, a network model. with, with uh, cryptocurrency. 
Can you just go back a bit on helium? So you've introduced it as a potential contender. Can you just explain a little bit more for someone that's never cross, come across helium. What is it? So helium is building a decentralized LoRaWAN network. They do this by selling people. Well, they don't actually sell them anymore, but they provide the the code to run on a miner box, like a it's a hotspot mm -hmm. that also mines Helium's cryptocurrency. That hotspot uses the homeowners or the mm -hmm. business owners' Wi-Fi as backhaul and provides a LoRaWAN signal out. In return, anytime you transfer packets, you provide proof of coverage, you get a small fraction of what they call a Helium network token. And those can be exchanged for uh, money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> dollars if you're into it, or you can exchange them to buy data credits on the Helium network. So people who use a lot of Helium might want to run miners. And that's kind of what Senate and Actility are doing. They're, they've brought their miner or brought their hotspots onto their network and are now part of it. So so what are, what are the relative costs of using Sidewalk uh, versus Helium then? Uh, d didn't you say that Sidewalk was free? Sidewalk is not free. So pricing for AWS, for their LoRaWAN messaging pricing, and this is, this is I, what we assume are Sidewalk. Amazon has not made Sidewalk fully open to all developers yet. So it's not mm -hmm. GA, but you can do up to a billion messages for $2.30 per million. Okay. Um, so that's freaking cheap. Um, with Helium, you have to buy data credits and that's a little bit more of a, there's a the weird thing there, but it, again, it's like less than five cents to send, you know, messages uh, in like a lot of messages. Okay. So they're both pretty cheap, but it seems like Sidewalk is, uh, is, is cheaper. It'll be fascinating to see how that plays out. Thanks for watching this clip from the Mr. Beacon podcast here on YouTube. You can listen to the rest of this episode on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you enjoyed it, please like and share this video. And be sure to subscribe for more weekly videos. For more information about Williot and IoT Pixels, head on over to williot.com.